Hey dudes, first pick of the new year, at least the first pick on video. This area hasn't had its garbage run yet, so let's see if everybody had a happy new year's. You can't see, damn it. There we go. Ha! Now, I don't know how your guys' new year's went, but ours was actually not full of crazy parties everywhere. I mean, yeah, there were New Year's parties, but it was minus 30-something down here, so most people just stayed home where it was warm. I know I did. Of course, that went away pretty quick. Today, it's like minus one right now. It's going to be, I don't know. It's supposed to get nice and warm later. Oh, and a huge thank you to whomever sent me my first Bitcoin tip. That was awesome. You're awesome. And I think this is going to be fun. How many of you guys out there are playing with cryptos? I know it's still not for everybody, but for people who are on board, pretty cool, right? I'm not sure they meant to put that in there. Hey, one of these things. I haven't used one of these. I think I'll still stick to a oven mitt. See, a few of you have mentioned over the past year that I should get a Patreon. And that you would love to be my patrons. And that would be... Hey. Goody, goody, gumdrops. I think that'd be really cool, because Google AdSense sure isn't paying my rent. We're just gonna come back for those. And that would be pretty cool. Something more consistent would really help smooth out the gaps. But here's the thing. They just added that, uh, that second fee, so now both parties have to pay on both ends. And I just don't think that's very cool. People are still going to use Patreon because they're still the big player. They're the name people recognize. That's what people are already using, and that's fine. But the other thing with me is sometimes I like to take random vacations. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So maybe this week there's three videos. And maybe the next week there's not as many videos. But I think... That's why uh, tipping and donations would be such a great fit. Because that way, if I worked really hard on a video and you guys really liked it, you could say, like, hey, Thub, great job. Here's a dollar. <laughs> More of a merit-based reward structure. And it'd be an immediate feedback loop, so I would know which ones were actually well-received. Not that you guys don't already tell me that, but, you know, one more element. Just an idea I had that I thought might be fun. And who knows, if it goes really well... There might not even be a need to run ads. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I think cryptos would be the best way to do that, because as far as I can tell, there's no fees. So which ones do you guys use? Which ones do you like? Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin, NTX, Legends Room. I don't mean to alienate anybody who's not familiar with the subject matter. It's, it's just something that's been on my mind. <clears throat> Maybe cryptos are the way to go for content creators. Ad revenue's getting more and more unstable all the time. And then there was that video going around of uh, 
that country, I think it was an African country where uh, everybody's using cell phone banking and even like beggars on the streets you can, you can donate to with your cell phone. I mean, if you look past all the hype, the practicality is immense for a world where so much business and activity happens digitally. What the heck is that? Is it wool? That's a bag full of dyed green wool. Wow. This stuff is ready for felting. From a practicality standpoint, I probably should grab that, turn it into something cool, and then sell it. Eee. But that would definitely go against my no soft things rule. And there's a pretty, hey, hungry, hungry hippos. Dude. That is sweet. Not worth much without the marbles though. Yeah, anyway, there's a pretty good chance of some creepy crawlies of some kind in that sack of wool. So I'm just gonna skip it. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure part of the process of felting involves boiling the wool anyway. That would kind of take care of it. Why is it always the left glove? Okay, new plan. At the end of the day, if I've still got the space, I'll go grab the wool, and then I'll just leave it to freeze in my garage while I research until I can find out if there's some way to be sure it's safe. And if you guys know anything about that, please let me know. The only reason I'm giving it a second thought is because materials are one of my best selling items. If I can find raw materials for anything, piece of wire, I put them up on Kijiji for like half of what they normally cost. It takes a little while for someone to find them because they're kind of a specialized thing. But when an interested party does find them, it's usually a no hassle sale. They commit, they set a time, and they show up. <sighs> Subway coupon. They're still good, but they sure ain't as good as they used to was. That sun is beating down. Sure could use a nice cool wind. Hey, I'm sure the battery on this thing's just about pooched, so... I'll see you guys after the run. Pardon? Was this you? No. It's our neighbor. You gonna grab it? No. I don't know if it works or not, but uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Feel free. I think I will. Let me check it out. Right. That pretty much settles that. It was a pretty decent day. I still have to bring all this stuff in though, so I'm gonna do that, and then there's a quick errand we gotta run afterwards. Yeah! Above average today. Not too shabby. We're here at the post office because Jerry keeps telling me to check my P.O. box. Three, six. What? I don't think this is what Jerry sent. She got it. Ah! Turns out there is something. It sounds broken. I think they broke it. You're all right. Before we crack this open, can I just say thank you, Cherry, and thank you, Jen. You've made this a special day just by being a part of it. And even if this is just filled with broken glass, I still appreciate the thought, but I can't wait to see just what this is. Does anyone want to make a guess and write it down in the comments? 
I'm hoping it's not broken glass. I'm hoping it's not rotten food. This is cool! I have no idea where this is from, but this is cute AF. I love the colors. This is the coolest little bot, but I have a feeling it's probably a cyborg, because look at that like organic matter in the center there. I need to find a special place for this. Copper and brass! <laughs> in the most ridiculous bag. Whoa. Thanks for the duck call. Work gloves. You know what, these are actually perfect. These are exactly the kind of thing that you want as glove liners. They got the rubbery tips, so they definitely work as like regular work gloves too, but for me, that's the best use for these. Inside the other gloves. <laughs> you guys are the sweetest. I'm not even mad. What is... Cool! It's a little speaker! And it looks pretty robust. I probably won't ruin this. And there's one more. Whoop! What? Oh my god! Canada dollar? I've never seen one of these before. That's really neat. And I like the fact that it's got some scratches on the back. I think this is one of those shopping cart coins. A guitar pick. I'll probably give that to my brother. He plays guitar a lot more than I do. I pluck on the ukulele sometimes. Marble. Raphael. Turtles candy. And so here's one of them there, Ghostbusters. It's a little pink alien, dude. This little fella is either a finger puppet. He sits on there pretty good. Or a pencil or pen topper, but I have a feeling he would just slide off a pen. Yeah, no. That is a finger topper. Thanks for finding me a great new home, Jan and Jerry. Guys. <laughs> Half an old $5 bill. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. You think that's worth $250? And an American one! More of this play money. I don't really, I don't really know any hockey players. I feel like maybe I should. You're like officially required to. They actually revoke your Canadian citizenship if you can't uh, name off at least five Canadian hockey teams. Oilers, Flames, Canucks, Canadians, and Leafs. This is really making me wish I put more effort into what I sent. This is so cool. Missed opportunity, like you guys made the most of it. Got some stuff for Wub. He's gonna lose his stuff over this. Actually, I like it too. You guys are the best. Thanks so much. You were telling me I should get some of these. I was like, no, no, they're not. It's not a big deal. I don't need them. There are some warnings. Let me tell you. And these are gonna make me money because you guys have seen me stop and like waste 15 minutes just sitting in the car rubbing my hands together. Won't have to waste that time with those. You guys are awesome. Can I call you the J Crew? I'm gonna call you the J Crew. Well, I don't think I'm gonna bother doing the haul at the end of today because it wasn't that much stuff. And I'll I'll throw it on Instagram. We'll have to call that good enough. I think I can't think of a better way to end today's video. Thanks for coming along. Hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas and New Year's, and let's have a fantastic 2018. Let's leave it better than we found it. Keep doing the thing.